My first acting job just out of uh, two months out of acting school was an HBO miniseries called Generation Kill, which has been such a blessing for me in a lot of ways. Uh, there were 18 principal cast members and I was luckily to uh, one of them, um, which took me sort of all around Africa for seven months, which is a dream job, you know. Mm -hmm. um, worked with a lot of uh, great people and, and now a lot of them are blowing up. I mean, one of them is uh, Alexander Skarsgård, who plays Eric Northman on um, True Blood. True Blood, True yeah. Blood, yeah. Huge fan base. People are going crazy about him. Also, Kellen Lutz, who was in Twilight. Mm -hmm. So there seems to be a lot of vampire things that are that are that are pulling those through, um, as well as a whole lot of people that are on uh, Broadway shows and, and and movies and stuff like that. Um, I've done Invictus. Um, I did another show called Natalie Holloway, which won a Prism Award. Yeah. Um, I just finished now on Death Race um, and Lost Future with Sean Bean. Sean Bean, yeah. Yes. Um, great experience. Um, and now I just actually finished a music video for MK, which is part of this sort of um, like initiative that they have that they got 10 of the best production companies to put on 10 uh, music videos and we actually launched them last night. Really, really nice. So you're great you, what are you doing in the music video? I'm, I'm the lead in the one music video oh, for Fortuna cool. Dance, yeah. It's, uh, it's like a whole fight scene between a guy and a girl and, and how similar an argument can be to a fist fight. Um, but at the end of the day, you need to make up. And so it was interesting, it came out really well. Um, the other thing now, I just got booked on, on another series for America called The History of America. Mm -hmm. um, and it won three Emmys last year, so it's really, really nice. Wow. They create huge fan bases, man. Oh, that's what I want to know. Talk about Generation Kill specifically. I know you've got this huge following outside yeah. of South Africa and internationally, so tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Um, people really love the show and they quote the show all the time. And I got. Um, a lot of fan mail from, from these particular girls who run a website called the Generation Kill Insider. Mm -hmm. um, so eventually I started speaking to them and we did some radio, in, I mean some Skype interviews and some, some like blog stuff. And they've just been amazing in terms of promoting and fangirling and all the stuff that you're not really, like you don't, there's not a big culture like that in South Africa, you know? And so it's really, really nice because Anything you say, they're there in support, yeah. you know. You do anything, they're like, there's 10 people that are there going, come on, come on, let's go. And now there's like 100, 200, 300 people, you know, and it's like, whoa. I walked down the street here, no one knows me, yeah, but yeah. over there, it's, it's a whole different thing, which is also nice, you know. And what was it like working with uh, Morgan Freeman and Clint Eastwood on Invictus? Wow, um, that's been one of my favorite experiences. Um, Clint is just one of the most chilled people in the world. Um, he's so organized. like. You go on set, you shoot eight hours, you go home. Like, that's unheard of in South Africa, you know? Um, because he knows what he wants. He doesn't try to get 50 things, because he only wants one, yeah. you know? And he comes in there and he gets what he wants. Um, Matt Damon was, was incredible. I ended up having quite a long chat to him about acting. Uh, he gave me some really good advice that he had heard from Robert De Niro and, and uh, a couple of other people. What are your goals for the next year? My goals for the next year are the same as, as they were this year, to just keep growing. I mean, uh, this year I got uh, my first two direct bookings um, without having to go to casting, which is really, really nice, which means international directors want to work with you again, you know? Yeah. And that's all you can ask for. I mean, you never know how these things are going to work out. So um, I just keep trying to do sort of what I know is to be best um, and keep trying and hopefully uh, people still enjoy it and uh, it goes from strength to strength. Well, I mean, you've been working on the international scale, you've been locally, you've been busy with many things, and mm. I'm sure 2011 is going to be a good year for you, so... I hope, hope so, it goes yeah. From strength to strength. For us as well, you know? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Thank you, man.